Hey, it's Jason. I'm here with a 2003 Chevy Silverado, and I'm going to replace the air filter with this Fram Extra Guard 12,000 mile model um, 8755A, which is what this 03 Silverado calls for. And all you're going to really need to do, there's going to be a screw back here, Phillips head screwdriver, a screw in the back corner, one right here, and one on the other corner. So one of our corners that you're going to want to loosen up. And uh, it's fairly easy, as you can expect. I think I can do this one without removing anything other than the screws. And I'll probably unplug the mass airflow sensor here and lift everything up. And uh, you would think, man, Jason, this is an 03. Like, haven't you done this thousands of times? And I would say, well, um, not as much as I probably should have. Uh, I only use this truck now to go to the dump. But this is the air box everything is now unscrewed these screws aren't going to come out they're going to kind of sit in there but um i'm going to go ahead and just unplug just to be safe the mass airflow sensor here or do i even need to yeah i'm going to unplug this guy and then i'll lift everything up so i can actually access the uh the air filter so honestly um i don't need to unplug it <laughs> when i started looking in here just those four screws and i can get right in here and I can pull this air filter out and you can take a peek at it. It seems old to me, kind of grimy. It doesn't seem to be in terrible cleanliness wise, but it seems really dry and there's definitely visible stuff in it. So I'm gonna wanna replace it with the Fram air filter that I have. Again, 8.7. 55 a and this is the the clean one it definitely doesn't feel i'm getting a little crease on it but it, it doesn't feel as dry and nasty it's just a standard square air filter that will drop right in so then i'll basically just tilt this back out there's nothing in the air box that's too dirty but there's definitely signs that there were mice in here at some point <sighs> But uh, very little, not not a lot. Um, so you could vacuum this out, but I mean, there's just a few little droppings in here. Um, nothing too significant. So what I'm going to do is just take the new air filter. And I'm just going to gently lay it in here. And then all you do is just put the air box back on, back over top of it. Line it up with those screws. It snaps on just like that everything's good and tight in there and then you just tighten everything up much easier than the colorado the chevy colorado the, the corner would get caught on things so i had to you know unscrew a few more tubes that connected to it but this is an example of why on earth especially on a pickup truck like this why wouldn't you want to change the air filter it's cheap and you're probably going off road and you're probably getting a lot of dust if you're going to job sites or off-roading so why not give your engine a nice breath of fresh air now this silverado does have some reader here but for the length of time that i owned this truck this little gizmo which i'll zoom in on a second has always shown green unless i just don't know how to use it um so i'm not going to particularly worry about it i'm just going to let that stay how it is and just tighten everything up and that's how easy it is to change a air filter now let's say you don't want to change it let's say you have a truck like me that just sits you drive it say once a week and it's winter it's about 20 degrees right now mice love to find ways to get in here because remember there's a hole sucking air in to the air box the air comes through the filter into the engine so that hole is easy for mice to get in and live below that air filter so i would definitely recommend occasionally just popping it out making sure nobody's lived in here a clear clear sign that you get mice go chew that insulation in the back that's courtesy of mice 
I sprayed all this with peppermint oil. I've done everything under the sun to try to keep them at bay. But uh, that's definitely indicative of what you'll see with uh, with those guys. This is a 03 Chevy Silverado 1500 war truck, 290,000 miles. And that's the uh, process to change the air filter. Do yourself a favor, do your truck a favor, save some cash, make your truck happy, replace the oil filter. Check out my blog, www.jams.net, for more DIY and car guy stuff. Thanks for watching.